Now, South Korea's spy agency says it is more likely North Korea actually tested a boosted fission bomb rather than a hydrogen bomb, as it claims. Intelligence officials say the North appears to have made zero, no technological advancements to its nuclear weapons since its third test in 2013. And Wednesday's test should actually be considered a failure rather than a success. Oh Seong tells us more. North Korea had been ready to conduct a fourth nuclear test since last year, according to the South National Intelligence Service report that was presented to the National Assembly's Intelligence Committee. It looks like preparations were made so discreetly that a test can be carried out at the press of a button. The senior intelligence official stated that North Korea had mostly finished preparations for a fourth nuclear test, ever since it carried out its previous one in 2013. However, the NIS, along with the South Korean military, say it's unlikely Pyongyang carried out the hydrogen bomb test it claims. For a start, the size of the detonation was only six kilotons. H-bombs are at least one megaton, which makes it more likely the North tested the boosted fission bomb, a prior stage to the H-bomb. Even so, the spy agency says the test more or less failed, as a blast from the boosted fission bomb would have been up to five times stronger. This also means it failed to exceed the power of the third test, which reached six to seven kilotons. A source from the spy agency noted that the preparation time had been short, as Kim Jong-un only issued the test order 22 days before it was conducted. The South Korean military is currently analysing the atmosphere for trace elements of radiation, but the spy agency says the chance of finding anything significant is low. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.